World War II inspired gun game that came out by Evans Manufacturing. I'd like to show this game and what I went through to get it restored and working again. It took me a really long time to get this game restored and running. A lot longer than it should have. But I went through a lot of stuff that was wrong with mostly parts problems. And also some interesting modifications that were made to the game. The game is pretty darn rare. The number of examples currently known you could count on one hand. So I didn't have a lot to go by. There was a gentleman in Colorado, John, that helped me with some interesting parts and details on the game and the schematics. The game had two incarnations. One is with the metal stand as you see here. This was the first generation of Tommy Gun. This metal stand has been reinforced with some angle iron on the side. The second generation had a more robust wood stand with a wider base. It was a tipping problem for the game so that's why they went to the, the wider footprint wood stand. Here's some parts that were added to the game sometime in its history and that I had to remove. This was mounted on top of the back box with the number of flights. This totally did not jive with how the game works. The game is a timed game. What this flights thing does is it measures the number of rotations or flights, airplane flights, going around. So they actually changed the complete game philosophy and play. This was the stepper unit that actually kept track of the number of flights that somebody had added to the game and a separate transformer to power that and then the various wiring and hardware needed to run all this junk. I removed all this from the game. Another major issue I had with the game was this graphic that goes that's backlit here on the front of the game. This was the original graphic that came in the game. It's damaged without a doubt, curled, and basically the plastic is disintegrating on this. So what I had to do was scan this guy in, bring it into Photoshop, re-edit it, and then I took the file to Kinko's and they actually have advertising transparency films, backlit style, that they can print out. And that's how I made a new translate. And then created a pet G front end that goes in front of it so that the, the, the translate, as you may, does not get damaged. Another issue I had with the game was the motor that runs this internal turntable that shows the planes coming across the sky here. That motor had a casing that was made out of just pot metal and it had disintegrated where the armature comes through into the motor housing. So I was able to find and source an original armature housing to kind of hold it all back together and use the original motor. I originally tried to go to Granger and get a replacement motor and I was never able to find the right voltage or RPM or, or clockwise versus counterclockwise direction for the rotating planes. Inside the round tubular shell of the main body had to be basically completely rewired to remove the added electronics and stepper units and transformer that uh, somebody added for the flight. Also the timer bell which can be seen way in the back of the game way up here which was a standard thing used in many 40's games was basically inoperative. So I was able to get a new one of those and rebuild the scoring mechanism and the timing mechanism in the, in the whole game. I also added a bell to the game so that whenever you got a hit the game actually made a, a ringtone. The other thing that was missing from the game was the a noise maker that when you pull the trigger in it was almost like a uh, uh, sounded like a machine gun. So I had to actually make that unit for the game. Another interesting aspect of the game is that there is an actual projection light inside this barrel that actually puts like uh, a dot on the screen of where you're aiming to, to help with accuracy, which is kind of interesting and that had to be completely rebuilt too. And I ran it at the solenoid voltage, which is 20 volts, opposed to originally it was run at 6 volts. So I got some more candle power out of the gun itself to project better on you here. Now I'll show you how the game plays. The first thing you do, of course, to start the game is you put a nickel in the coin slide and push this in. It's also interesting that the game is adjustable for different height patrons. But uh, we're just going to run it right now and I'm going to show you how the game works. 
is push the corn slide in, and you can see the airplanes that actually project on the screen, that's what you're shooting at. 